everyone, today I'm going to show you how to sharpen in Photoshop using a Photoshop action and I'm going to take it from the Precept Pro Complete Collection and we'll provide a link down below where you can download this action and you can try it out for yourself. So right here in the Adjustments action panel and this folder you can see, let's go to the medium one, that's the one that's going to be available for download and what you want to do with this action is hit play and then I'll zoom in here so you guys can get a better look at this and here you go if you look at the brickwork you can actually see it the best there's before and there's after and the cool thing is you can use this as a brush so if you click on here till you see the corners highlighted you can hit command I and that inverts it and you see it's gone away now you can go to the brush select the brush make sure you have white selected and you hit OK and then you can essentially paint through I have it at 100% opacity eh, let's make the brush fairly large so we can see it here and if we just paint through you can see that brick starting to come through with the textures which is nice and you can see it in the layers mask here and if I turn that off there it goes away turn it on goes back on so that's it so we're gonna provide a link for that so you guys can download it try it for yourself and for those of you that already have this complete collection or the adjustments and retouching collection um, I'm just gonna continue here and show you something cool about the set uh, actions that you can use. So right now I'm going to go ahead and delete this what we just done there. So now with a sharpen set I'm going to hit play and this is where it walks you through so you can really fine-tune how much sharpening you want to come through with the high pass radius. So set sharpening with high pass radius. Continue. And what you want to do with this is if you zoom out you kind of want to sharpen until you see sort of the image poking through and that would be ideal. Um, depending on the image that you're editing. Uh, let's say if you can see over here there's metal or remember there's metal through here. That's, let's say I want to get that texture just really looking good. I'm going to put it in extreme for demo purposes as well and let's hit OK. This is going to really sharpen things up. A um, little too extreme in the, the sculpture here but it's doing some cool stuff with the brick. So there's before and there's the after. You can see it's really brought out that brick. And then if we go down to the metal here, let's go before and there's after. You can see it's made this really cool, like it, it looks really like a nice texture for metal. And that's something if you only wanted to apply it to certain areas, again, you can hit, uh, you can click on the layer mask, command I, that inverts it, use the brush, I've already have it selected, and you can start painting through where you want it to show up. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We hope to have more for you soon.